let's go to the type of equipment. But before we go to the type of equipment, I would want to sound, sound some precautions that we have observed the last 10 years, the mistakes that people make when purchasing bakery equipment. We'll go case by case. I just highlighted like five points. One, if you are going to do cakes, you have no business to buy dough mixer. You will buy what you call cake mixer or planetary mixer. Cake mixers are good because they have three mixing arms. Each arm is used for a particular uh, product. For example, the beta, the hook, and the whisk. They'll give you different types of cakes or cookies depending on your target market. That's why it's very important to get it right. If I'm going to produce uh, cakes on Black Forest, I'll buy a cake mixer with three hands because I'll use the whisk to produce sponge cakes, which is Black Forest, Swiss roll, and all the rest. That is very important. Another mistake on the same issue of mixers, most customers buy the cake mixer and try to use it for dough mixing to produce bread, buns, corns, and rolls. This is another big mistake that we have found because one, one, two things will happen in this case. One, you'll end up with a low quality dough. Cake mixer is not made to mix very firmly and fastly and very good mix as opposed to a dough mixer. So you, you'll, yes, you'll mix the dough, but you'll end up with a low quality dough mix, which will give you a low quality bread product. The other issue is that you are straining the cake mixer. Remember, cake mixer is meant to mix light cake mixtures. Unlike dough, which is very tough and, and elastic and strong. So you need a, 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 dough, a dough mixer, which has a stronger motor and stronger machine, a stronger body, which is well built. And that is very important because customers keep on complaining. I bought a cake mixer, but six months down the line, it's broken down and so because they use the wrong machine for the long, wrong job. That is another issue. So the third issue on this issue of, uh, to sound another warning, I've come ac across the last 10 years, customers buying pastry shita, yet they don't know what they are going to use it for. Remember, pastry shita or dough shita is meant to produce pastry products like, uh, you know, uh, types of pastries, croissants, you know, meat pies and such kind of things, tarts and so on. So if your ma target market, and especially those products are for the high end target market. So if your target market is not in that, you don't need to spend over 500,000 Kenya shilling to buy a pastry shita, which will not use. I've seen one, two, three customers do that mistake in the period of 10 years and it's so unfortunate because they end up buying the machine that will never be used and immediately they buy one month down the line they are looking for a buyer for the same machine so it's very important that's why uh, you should be careful when you are doing that the other thing i've seen which comes to equipment if you are going to produce birthday cakes which are very thick for example 10 centimeters 15 centimeters thick you'd rather buy a deck oven because deck oven is well vast is geared towards heating such thick cakes effectively and to make sure that the deep inside part is well baked because the bottom part of the deck oven heats up by conduction and the upper part by radiation that combination of heat flow makes sure that you have a well rounded a well baked thick cake it is one of the only ovens that can be able to do that effectively. Now, let's assume that you're going to produce not bad cakes. You produce buns, scones, rolls, and bread. In that case, the best oven would be this type of oven, convection oven. We have from five tray all the way to 12 tray. And these types of oven can cater for bread, buns from zero to 2,000 packets. And we re recommend that this type of oven to use uh, electricity because electricity is efficient, very efficient with this kind of ovens, whereby the cost per, per packet or per loaf is less than one Kenya shilling. And that makes it very, very effective with electricity uh, consumption.